So why do we transpose? Why do we define such a thing? And why do we want to do such a thing? There are several reasons. So in the following, I'm going to show you some cool things that transposition allows us to do. First of all, it allows us to define a pairwise relationship between two matrices. So we can pair up two matrices that share something in common. It's kind of like finding the twin matrix of a matrix. These twins often share some properties. We can't elaborate on this because we haven't learned certain things. But let's first look at what do I mean by a pairwise relationship. To see this, let me ask you, what is the transpose of a transpose? For example, in this example, the transpose of a transpose is going to be the first row is the first column transposed. So it's 1, 3, 7. The second row is going to be the second column transpose. So 2, 1, 4. It's exactly the matrix A itself. And this is going to be true for every matrix. Because when you take the transpose, you're flipping the matrix with respect to this diagonal line. And when you take the transpose, again, you flip it back. So you get the same matrix back. So here's the first property of the transpose operation. The transpose of A transpose is the matrix A itself. Think about what this means. The transpose of A is A transpose. And this says the transpose of A transpose is A. So these two matrices are paired up by this operation called transpose. The, they are the transposition of each other. Later on, we'll learn that they sometimes share certain properties. We'll see that later.